Well, let's talk about implementing an interface. To declare a class that implements an interface, you in include an implements keyword in the class declaration. Your class can implement more than one interface. It can also extend other um, class. When they do so, by convention, the implements clause follows the, the extends clause if there is one. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at an example. In last section, we have the class interface import implements grouped interface. And we can create another class which extends this one. Grouped interface import plus. Okay, grouped interface import class extends grouped interface interface impl. Besides that, it can implement uh, interfaces. It can implement interface 1, which the parents already implemented, but it doesn't matter. It can be, uh, declare them in the class signature. And uh, it can also implement uh, grouped interface. Those are all valid syntax, but uh, you cannot uh, declare the interface twice. This is a red line, okay? Um, you don't have to provide the implementation details because the parents already implemented them and you inherited all those implementation methods. Of course, you can implement some interface your uh, parents don't implement it. So let's say interface, interface uh, four, and uh, this one, I uh, want you to implement void extra. Okay, don't take anything, just uh, um, extra int x. Why I don't like it? Add a body. Now this is um, change interface to abstract. It's already oh, damn it! It's interface. I won't say it's interface. So interface don't uh, don't need uh, a body. Interface. Okay. Interface. Interface don't need to have a body, and it has a. By default, it have a um, <coughs> modifier public and abstract. So here, now if I go back to the um, import plus, and uh, I extend the interface, interface four. This time, I have to implement the abstract methods. Okay, so this is the. Uh, what is the paragraph one trying to say? And um, uh, so if you want to be able to compare the size of similar objects, no matter what they are, the class that instantiates them should implement relatable. So you could already have, a, uh, have many classes. They do their own business uh, before they even know this interface. For example, you have a, a string wrapper class uh, they wrapper a string, no matter they are advertisements, some narrates. But uh, uh, someday you want to compare the length. Uh, you want to compare two objects, so you can implement the relatable and uh, <coughs> use the number of characters in the string to compare two objects. Uh, in another example, you have a book object. A book object uh, by natural they have an author, the title, and uh, many pages. Someday you want to compare to boxes. So you can implement the inter, uh, interface. And by natural, uh, a bigger book have more pages. So you can easily use the pages to compare them. For students, um, they have a uh, they take care of the student's first name, surname, their class, their grade, etc. If you want to compare two students, uh, you can compare. Okay, compare their weight. Okay, this is not a 
good choice. Uh, a student have more meat doesn't mean they are bigger. Okay, you can you can use you can compare age, you can compare grade, but uh, <laughs> compare weight is maybe not a good choice. But uh, it could be a be a choice if you trying to compare two students and uh, so forth. Okay, so you see the pattern here. I am already working business class. They can get uh, acquire extra uh, feature in this case comparable by implement an additional interface. They can implement uh, another interface, say not a relatable. You can say like uh, like uh, uh, um, uh, weightable. So they, uh, by implement weightable, they have to provide a method to weight their uh, weight. Okay. And uh, so by implement a new interface, an existing class acquired additional feature that gives the Java some flavor of the multiple inheritance. And um, yeah, that's um, that's good. Good thing. Um, all classes can implement the is larger than method if they choose to implement a relatable. Okay. Now here is an example. We have a rectangular process which from the previous section they take care of, of their own business um, before this chapter. Uh, they have constructor. They can move. They can give the area. In this chapter uh, they are now acquired a new feature by implements uh, uh, relatable, so they can compare each other. Uh, how the implementation uh, works? Uh, first, uh, they get another uh, relatable, and uh, they know they are rectangular plus, so they cost the rectangular plus. Take uh, cost other two rectangular plus. Um, this is uh, natural because you can only compare uh, rectangular to rectangular. You don't want to uh, compare rectangular to a book. Even a book implements relatable. You cannot compare them. They are different things. And uh, rectangular uh, have an area, so you can compare them. I call this a method and uh, return different value depending on which one have a bigger areas. And uh, let's copy this method um, into Eclipse. Session two. Okay. Interface. Um, the first thing we need to fix is combination units. Then we have a point a class we need to provide. So let's go to the class point. And the point class have two instance variable x and y. And we give it a constructor public. And um, Now rectangular uh, plus is already, and uh, <coughs> we see the is larger than implementation here. A method required to implement the relatable interface, and uh, let's write a demonstration class. Demo, okay. Here. Public static void fail main string uh, past. Uh, 
Only to me. String logs. Okay. And um, here we can have a method public uh, show. And here we can create a, a relatable. A uh, is a rectangle plus plus we give it uh, whites and lengths. Okay, forget about new keyword. And um, we give a, another rectangle B. Let's show, let's say white. And um, rectangle B have a larger area. Now we can compare A and B. So let's say A is larger than B. And uh, we want to print the result out. Okay. And uh, let's create a new um, demo D equal new demo. And we call that class show. Let's run the program. Run its Java application. And this time, negative one, because A is smaller than B. Now we make A larger than B. And run the program again, we get a one. And uh, we make them the same area. Okay, now zero. One thing to notice, those uh, bold lines, we have to first cost the uh, relatable to rectangular plus. Uh, otherwise, the compiler will complain. I don't know uh, what the type of the author is, so I don't know if they have the get area method or not. Only the rectangular brass have get area method. Book don't have, but the book is perfectly uh, legitimate to implement relatable. If you're trying to compare uh, rectangular with book, of course it's. Uh, it's not logical, and the compiler won't let you go. Um, so what is doing is here rectangular plus. If you trying to compare the other with this directly, no way. You get the compilation error. And uh, here in Eclipse, you see that it's just uh, with a red line, but uh, in OCAJP, OCPJP. Uh, they will trick you. They will ask you which line have compilation error. You should say this line. And they will remove this line and ask you uh, what the result or uh, which line have compilation error. You should say this line have compilation error because um, you didn't cast. You should cast first and uh, use uh, same type to compare to each other. Okay, and um, that's a topic of this section.